Hello and welcome to another video. In today's video, it is our Christmas special. Uh, so today uh, we have a bit of a different video for you. Uh, there's a bit of silliness, but I hope you enjoy. I am here in the working tractor store now, and for those who don't know uh, what we have in here, we have uh, the Bones HT23 with the deck on it here in the middle, then around the outside we have the Bones HT20, the 1962 Bolands ride matic 1964 Bolands Estate Keeper EK7, uh, our other HT23 in the corner with the chevrons on it, then we have our uh, Wheel Horse Raider 9 here, uh, the Bolands G12 with the hydraulic lift kit, the Blue 1054, the Westwood D1200 there, 1253, and behind Dad, I'm not sure how well you'll see it, there you go, we have the uh, 1975 G14. Now, we've been having conversations today about what each of these tractors would like for Christmas. There's been uh, conversations about front end loaders and back hoes, uh, big snow blowers for the HTs, and uh, some of the HTs would especially like some three point linkages. But I'm sure even Santa would struggle to find one of them in the UK, and I'm sure he'd turn his nose up uh, at the price of shipping from America. Then again, Santa must pay a lot of shipping costs around this time of year. But I'm sure we can go around and find something that each of these tractors uh, would like from Santa and I'll encourage each of them to write up their Christmas lists and then we can put all of those letters in the fire and send them off to Santa. Ho ho ho. It is very cold here in the North Pole. I guess I'd better light my fire. My knees aren't as good as they used to be. Ooh, better not light the fire yet. There appears to be some letters in there. I have three letters to open now. Let's see what these young tractors want. Now, let's open up these letters. First one addressed to Father Christmas, one of my many titles. And by the looks of it, this is from the 1975 Bolands G14, uh, requesting a new muffler. Now that sounds quite exhausting, but I'm sure we can make that happen. Second one addressed to Santa, again, me. And this is actually a collective letter from the three Bolands HTs. Uh, by the looks of it, they want a full uh, filter kit oil filter, air filter, uh, hydrostatic filter, fuel filter. Seems like quite a long list, but I'm sure we can filter this down to something manageable. And finally, uh, we actually have quite a big list, list here from the 1960 Bolands ride matic It would like absolutely everything to, fill, to finish that project. Um, but at the very top, it says that it would like uh, some oil seals and tyres. I am feeling quite tired, but I'm sure we can manage that. But before we start sending out gifts, I must make sure that these tractors are not on my tractor naughty list for this year, which uh, appears to be quite long. But by the looks of it, the top of my list is not actually a tractor. It is a chainsaw owned by uh, Noel from Noel's Garden Tractors and Firewood. And if that chainsaw doesn't stop leaking, clearly won't be getting any presents this year. A short while later now, and I have got a large range of gifts here. Uh, firstly, we've got some oil seals for the 1960 Bolands ride matic and these are good ones uh, too, so I'm sure they'll be very happy uh, with those. We've got a muffler here for the G14. 
uh, ignition key uh, barrel here for Bones tube frame. That's a bit of an extra. They didn't ask for it, but they shall receive it. Uh, I have here an oil filter for the 1992 Bolands GT2000. And then here we have uh, some of the filters I bought for the Bolands HT tractors uh, with an engine oil filter, transmission oil filter, and an air filter. And, hmm, we seem to be a couple of gifts short. I'm trying to remember what they could be. I'm sure if I wasn't so tired, it would come to me uh, what they are. Hmm. Ooh. Didn't expect it to come to me that fast, but uh, we also have some new rear tyres for the 1960 Bolands Ridermatic. Brand new, uh, looking very nice. So all of my elves are down the pub, so I'm going to have to uh, wrap these up myself. I've got a range of wrapping paper here, uh, some scissors and some tape. So I will get to wrapping all of these up. And as if by magic, everything is uh, wrapped now, as you can see, done beautifully by me. And uh, we've even got a pretty <laughs> ribbon here on uh, the tyres for the Ridermatic. Now I just need to deliver them all. very quiet here uh, because it's the middle of the night but I've come with some of the presents for the tractors in this shed so uh, I should probably start dividing some of these up make sure everyone that asks for something gets something I've got to be very careful not to wake up any of these tractors So now I 
just need to put the muffler on the G14 down there. But I'll do that off camera because uh, it's quite difficult to get to it without waking up any other tractors. And then we need to head around to the workshop to deliver a couple more a couple more presents. We're in the workshop now, and we should have a couple more tractors to deliver gifts for. First, we've got the GT2000 here. Give them that one. Then we've got a couple of things here, and uh, we'll grab the tire here. Ready for when all the tractors wake up. I hope you enjoyed that short uh, Christmassy segment of this video. Uh, we did have a few issues off camera uh, with the G14 or Rudolph, as I should say, uh, with it spitting all of its oil out. And that was kind of why it was smoking so much was some of the oil uh, going on the exhaust pipe. But that will either be uh, probably because of piston rings or head gasket, more likely piston rings, but we won't know until we take the engine apart and have a look. So not sure how big of a job that's going to be, but I'm sure we'll have fun uh, dealing with that. We also managed to get the tractor and sled combination, or sorry, reindeer and sled combination stuck a few times in the garden, uh, which has left some nice ruts out there, but it's fine because mum won't know until tomorrow morning uh, when it gets light again and we'll be out of here by then so we won't get in trouble for it. Um, but I would like to welcome my cameraman to join me for a second and we would both like to wish you a Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. Uh, but that is it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.